The program says he's an SEC rookie, but his teammates aren't buying it. He's not a freshman. He may be a freshman by class, but he's just a great player. Now Beal for three. Got it! Not too many uh, teams in the country have a freshman as their go-to guy. Beal who had the hot early hand, and he's got it back. Bradley, I'm not acting like a freshman. Beal has been the real deal in his first ever dip into March Madness. He sure didn't play like it was his first SEC rodeo, leading the Gators in scoring during this conference tourney. A team high 16 against Bama, and for good measure, how about 20 more versus Kentucky? Bradley Beal played as well as he's played in the last three weeks. Played uh, really good basketball. I'm pretty confident, and my teammates give me that faith as well in myself. And I mean, I'm starting to knock down more shots. I'm starting to rebound more, and whatever I'm, whatever it takes to win, that's what I'm basically going to do. Florida is getting exactly what they were expecting out of its super freshman. Beal became the first Gator to ever be an All SEC freshman and a member of the All SEC team. Billy, we saw Beals all around game today. You've had a lot of talented freshmen. Is he the most talented freshman you've had? I mean, he's a very good player. I mean, he's a really, really good player. But, I mean, I think, you know, Mike Miller was pretty good. Donald Harvey was pretty good. I mean, Haslam, you know, was pretty good. There's been some pretty good ones. Uh, but he's certainly right there and, and up there. So we'll call him one of the best Florida freshmen of all time. But Beal Street hasn't always been easy street. Early on, he struggled. He never really had faced adversity. He never had dealt with shooting one for 10, three for 10, and being able to move to the next day and, and work. And I, I think those things were all challenging to him, but he actually did a, did a really nice job, I think, as the years unfolded of doing some of that. You know, the kind of high school career you had, you never faced too much adversity. Was that the hardest adjustment to this level? It most definitely was. I mean, coming like the first couple of games of the year, I, I was kind of fine, but then I hit a, like, I hit a, a big head of adversity and shots weren't falling. I was all over the place and things were going pretty fast. So as the Gators exit the SEC tournament here in New Orleans, Bradley Beal should put on a show. He showed us a lot. He can shoot, he can rebound, and he can pass the ball. He also showed us he's pretty modest. That's what happens when you grow up one of five boys. Yeah, you, you must definitely do. I mean, sometimes you can brag to them about it, about your accomplishments, but I mean, I'm, 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 I'm real grounded and I mean, there's a lot more things that I can do in my life as well. So family keeps him humble. His teammates keep him confident. Both will factor in after this season when Bradley will more than consider going to the NBA. Right now, he's projected to be a lottery pick, a decision which appears easy, but not for this Gator. Talk about that decision, how hard that's going to be when you have to make it. Um, I mean, when it comes, it comes. Whenever that time comes, I'm not sure what it, what it is I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm going to sit down with Coach at the end of the year, but right now I'm just focused on the, on the rest of the season.